What's poppin' everybody? Today I'm back with a different little video. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a minute. The last makeup collection that I did was probably a little less than a year ago, but my whole little setup slash vanity has changed a lot since then. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it's like now, show you guys a bit of my organization, some of my favorite things, everything like that. So if you guys want to see my whole little vanity tour, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay. Okay, so this is what my whole little thing looks like. I'm sorry that my cords are a little messy over there and that my chair is broken. But um, yeah, my desk is from Ikea. I'll leave all the links to it down below. And then this is also from Ikea. So we'll start off over here. A lot of you guys ask where my lamp or like my pink light is from. The light bulb is from Walmart. The lamp is just like something that I got from my house like forever ago. And then I have a little card, a little candle from TJ Maxx. It's like a pineapple one. You can hardly smell it, to be honest, but what ifs. And then we have these little Ikea Alex drawers. The first one we have right over here. I keep some jewelry. I need to get a better jewelry organizer because right now I just have like my chains and then my hoops. And then in here, I keep lashes, some more over there, more hoops. And then I have like different little like makeup products that i don't really use as much but i do want to like use more so yeah then we go in here i keep more of like my skincare things so i have like my q-tips my witch hazel like little face mask um more face mask cleansing pads my retainers and then i have like my everyday things so like my um teeth whitening strips this face mask which is my favorite right now my mario Desku drying lotion and then i have my Bert's Bees, and then we went to the third drawer, which is just like random things. I have like eye glitter, different glasses, like baby pictures. I don't, I don't really know what stuff I have in there, but yeah. And then here I keep all of my hair stuff, hair gel, like curling irons, whatever. Another light bulb for when I get ready. Okay, and then we have the last drawer right down here, which is where I keep all of, oh my goodness. Where I keep all of my like wig supplies. I have like um, little rags for when I, you know, do something like this to a wig. You guys, this blending was so bad. I can't believe you guys gassed me up. Uh, we have another pink wig, which I have not used yet. I need to thin this out like hella. You guys can see there's like a lot of hair and it looks really synthetic. So I need to get some hair off of that. Um, normally I keep them in this little bag, but I was filming uh, this earlier and then I realized that I covered the mic So yeah, that's why they're out and then I have little wing caps um, I probably have more wigs in here <laughs> and my free spray and my got to be gel I do have another wig video coming soon. I'm super excited for you guys to see this one I'm doing it for rolling loud Miami. So yeah now we're gonna go ahead and go into everything over here so first we have this little organizer this is from home goods it has a couple little drawers and i just keep most of like my face products and products that i reach for oh my god products that i reach for often so i keep all my primers right up here i have my elf one different little covergirl ones and then like my two little silicone primers and then i have my two faced hangover rx and then down in here i keep all of my concealers you can see i have a couple different ones Okay, and then in here, I keep all of my concealers. So, nice. Uh, we have like my Maybelline Master Conceal, the NARS. Radiant Concealer, Tarte Shape Tape, L'Oreal, um, Infallible, Fenty, Morphe, Kat Von D, and then an LA Pro Girl Concealer, and then um, a CoverGirl one that I use to contour. So these are all my favorite ones. I don't really have too many just because, I don't know, I feel like I have different ones for different types of looks. Like if I'm going for something light, I'll use one of these. Something a little bit heavier coverage, I'll go with some of these. But it just depends. And then here I keep all my foundations. I don't really have too many. I just have my L'Oreal Infallible. You know what? I will take you out. 
L'Oreal Infallible Minaris Foundation, my Fenty Beauty one, and then my little e.l.f. one, which is actually becoming one of my favorites right now. And then down here, I keep some of my little, like, eye things, like a little eyeliner. I have my milk tattoo stamp over there, eyelash glue, dip brow pomade, this fully brush, and you guys can tell what my favorite mascara is. Here I keep my setting sprays. So I have a Morphe one, a uh, Urban Decay, and then a little CoverGirl one. This mirror is from uh, Target. It's a little Conair mirror. And then over here, this is similar to my last makeup collection. I keep all my brushes. These are a little bit messy because these are my brushes that I use every day. Like my everyday brushes. So I have like my little eyebrow brush, contour brush highlight brush, cream contour brush, like all of those. Here I keep all of my face brushes. Some of these I use every day too, like this one and this one, but they're kind of too big to fit in here. So I put them over here along with all the other ones. These I don't really use too much, but these two I do. And then here, these are all eye brushes, but um, these are all my clean ones. So yeah, now we'll go into the drawer. So with the Ikea um, desk, let me show you guys like how big the drawer is. So you guys can see like it's really long, but this is how much it opens. So really you have like so much space back there. Like you can see the space back there that I can't use just because it doesn't come out. So the organizers that I had, I had to make sure that they were all like along here. Like this one, you can see I have like extra space back there. But yeah, over here, I keep all of like my little lip things. So I just recently got into the Kylie lip kits, but I do love them so far. I have a couple little CoverGirl ones, some MAC lipsticks right over there. Over here, I keep like a little collection of lip glosses and then my soft matte lip creams i have a couple little sponges over here uh let me take my nails out of that and this is the elf sponge i was really excited because they are really soft but i ended up not liking it um it takes off like a lot of the product and i'm just not a fan so yeah i have a covergirl professional loose powder for when i run out of these two and then over here i keep all my lip liners you guys can tell i go crazy you know with the color selection on here over here i keep all of my powders they fit perfectly i will not be buying anymore until i can replace them so the first one that i have is my, my little fenty beauty powder this one i love baking with my maybelline fit me i have two of my l'oreal true match powders fenty beauty bronzer which is one of my favorites right now and then a Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter along with the translucent powder. And uh, you guys know my Laura Geller, Gilded Honey. I will never get rid of her. And then I have my little CoverGirl uh, Full Spectrum palette, which is also one of my favorites. I went through like a little phase where I really liked blush and sparkly blush. So there was that. And then back there, I keep a little Vaseline. Over here, I keep all of my little palettes just right there so I could see all of them. It does take up the majority of my drawer, but I don't really like to have too much product in here anyway. So the first little palette that I keep is my NYX Professional Makeup Conceal, Correct, and Contour. I used to use this all the time when I had, um, you know, little things that I needed to cover up. So yeah, this one was one of my favorites. I don't really use it anymore, but... I still like it. I have um, the Nubian by Juvia's. This is a really pretty palette right here. This is one of my favorite little sparkle shades. I have my two Anastasia Beverly Hills one, the Riviera, which I still haven't even used yet. And then I have my Anastasia Modern Renaissance, which is kind of like my first high-end palette. You guys can see it's really gross. But yeah, here we have... Um, New Nude by Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty. And this is so pretty as well. I have my uh, Morphe Brentman Rock collab. I always forget about this one. But yeah. I have my Take Me to Brazil. I feel like you guys have already seen these. Here's this one. 
and on my Morphe 35B, which I don't think you can get anymore. Then I have my 3502, the Jaclyn Hill palette, and the James Charles palette. Just love supporting controversials. Kidding. I keep all of them right in here, just so I can see that I have collect selection. Um, I always forget that I do, so I just like to remind myself. So that's pretty much everything that I keep in here, and that's all my makeup. I really, I don't have too much, to be honest, so yeah. All right, you guys, so that was pretty much it for my little um, vanity tour slash makeup collection. You guys know that I'm not really one to buy a bunch of makeup or I have like so much more than what I need. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, then go ahead and let me know. Any other video requests, go ahead and let me know and I will see you guys next time.